I am Renee. I'm Mark. And we're hashtag Team Terry, just in case you guys don't know who we are. So um, if you guys could also follow us, follow us for all things keto. That way, whenever we come on here live, you guys will get um, notification. You guys, sharing is caring. Sharing makes you beautiful. I'm sure somebody shared us out whenever you guys found us. So please, if you could hit that share button, comment shared in the comments, and we will get you guys into our drawing. We do once a month drawing just to like thank you guys. Same over on um, TikTok. And I see people over on TikTok saying hello too. So this is amazing. So I am going to go and get some quick shares out. I'm going to hand it over to Mark as I go share it out. Thanks, guys. Okay. If you're seeing us on YouTube, come over and check us out on Facebook at Team Terry Keto. So this is not quite sure what to call this. This is a it's garbage good. soup kind of uh, fat bomb. Um, I'm using almond uh, butter. Um, Cream cheese, uh, unsweetened butter, some sweetener, some walnuts. You can use any kind of nuts you like. Chocolate, uh, sugar-free chocolate chip, sugar-free marshmallows, which those are a real good thing as well. So um, I'm going to start with a half a cup of uh, almond butter. We used uh, a uh, just a creamy almond butter. You could use a cashew butter. You could use, there's infinite ways you could do this. You could do a natural peanut butter if you like, um, any way you want to. Try it, it'll give it a little different flavor and uh, make it taste even better, probably. So, um, I'm going to mix the uh, um, peanut butter with um, the other ingredients here that are, uh, I've got softened butter. This one's a little bit softer than I want it, but it'll be okay um, because we're going to, uh, after I get this all mixed, um, we're going to uh, put it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes so that it firms up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna use a cookie scoop and put little bite-sized pieces uh, on a parchment lined or a silicone mat um, cookie sheet. Put it in the freezer for an hour or so and you've got fat bombs. So I just put uh, a whole stick of unsalted butter in there um, that was softened. Now I've got a uh, eight ounce um, pack of cream cheese that's been softened also. And then we're gonna add to that the uh, swerve confectioner sugar. You can use any of the confectioner sugars that, that, you're wanting. that you want to use. Um, we like the taste of swerve, so we use that pretty exclusively. Um, and then I'm just going to mix this all up. Okay, so it's going to get noisy for a minute. Here we go. Speaking of recipes, if you guys are looking for meal plans, if you are looking for um, cheat sheets, because we get asked all the time, do you track? Or do you track your macros? And we don't. We have cheat sheets that we use, you guys, that are absolutely amazing. So if you're one of those cheat sheets, make sure that you're friends with us on Facebook and you send me a message saying cheat sheets or meal plans, and I will get those for you. Because, hey, whenever you have, like, little tips and tricks, it makes life easier for sure. Okay, so I just scrape down the bowl a little bit, um, get any of the stuff that's not mixed together. And then I'm just going to mix this up so it's all creamy smooth. Yes, definitely, you guys. I will get you guys all of that information. It is Friday, and we got the vanilla now and the pinch of salt. Yeah, now the pinch of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla that I forgot to put in there. Don't worry, but you guys. Okay. You won't have to memorize this. You can get the printable recipe. We will put it up at the top as soon as we get off of here. Yeah, I got it right over here. <laughs> Um, whenever I found this recipe, it said it was a rocky road. When we made it, Mark goes, that doesn't taste like rocky road, but it tastes amazing. So we have renamed it. It is now a candy bar fat bomb. Yeah. Okay. So I've got all the ingredients in there now. Um, I've got, uh, I'm going to use, don't you? <laughs> oh, <gosh>. Can I lick? <laughs> no. So I've got, uh, two ounces of, uh, walnuts that we just used some walnut halves and, and pounded them down just to make them into little tiny pieces um, because these are going to be little bites. Uh, you don't want a real big piece of, uh, of a nut in there. Um, <clears throat> and then I've got four ounces of uh, sugar-free. These are Lily's um, milk chocolate the chocolate bake, chips. The Bake Believe's a good brand too, you yes, guys, from Walmart. We use Bake Believe fr frequently if we can't find the Lily's. Um, these are milk chocolate. You can use the dark chocolate. You can use the white chocolate. There's some that have flavors. Um, butterscotch would be a good one, I would think. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a mint mint chip uh chocolate chip as well so any of those would be really good it's a candy bar guys just then, have fun with it and then we're using the uh i can't remember the name of it um, it's a uh, sugar-free marshmallow 
Oh, it's um, called marshmallow. Let's it's go. Called, yeah. You guys, it's a really It's really, good... really, this tastes like a marshmallow. It's, it's really amazing. Um, but I took a, an ounce of this and then chopped it up into smaller pieces so that we could get just, they're like mini marshmallows. Because it, when it comes, they're in pretty good sized chunks. Yeah, so this is the actual Max Mello, brand Max is. Mello, you yeah. guys. And this is like really awesome. It's got the collagen and the MCT oil in it, so it's good for you. Okay, it's the classic vanilla. It's only 90 calories per bag, not per serving, bag. Yeah. per bag. And I'm telling you, if you're making like, I don't know, fake Rice Krispie treats, we use this in a lot. So I would like search these. We got them off Amazon, but I know it's a smaller company and for you guys over on TikTok. Um, but anyway, this is a really, really good marshmallow and it gives you your collagen, your um, MCT, oil. MCT oil, and it's only 15 calories for like two marshmallows. It's amazing. Okay, so I've got this all mixed together. Um, now I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes and just let it firm up a little bit. It doesn't really, I mean, you could probably make the, uh, the bites this way. The way it is, um, I prefer them to be a little firmer so, so that they don't melt. Um, and then you put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes, take it out, take a, a cookie scoop. I've got a one and a half tablespoon cookie scoop, which is a pretty good size, as you can see. And so we've already the put them did. together. And so you guys, these made, this this right here made this 30 batch, yeah, of these. With, with this one and a half tablespoon, it made, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. about 30 of them. So. And so, I mean, just absolutely perfect little candy bars. We're not even sure what they are because I don't know, Rocky Road and peanut butter just, or almond butter just doesn't sound right to me. But you can just put them in the freezer and there you have it. So you guys, if you don't know why you have fat bombs, these are the most amazing thing whenever you're on a keto diet, low carb diet, even if you're not dieting, just to have, because this is gonna give you really good fat, it's gonna keep you satiated, it's gonna curb that sweet tooth. Curbs the sweet tooth really well. I wouldn't recommend like grabbing 20. I wouldn't eat 20, I'm like, well. <laughs> but this one does. No. <laughs> but one or two, you guys, is absolutely perfect. So I have not tasted this one yet, this one has, so I'm gonna taste. <laughs> it's really good. It, mm. it, it's peanut butter and chocolate, and it's. I don't know. It, it's oh my gosh. There's a lot of really good flavors in it, and you, you guys, can taste them all. I just got a chunk of marshmallow. It yeah. is really, really good. It's. I mean, it. I don't know of any kind of candy bar this tastes like. We're gonna call this the Terry Bar. It's gonna be the Terry Candy Bar. It's Team really, Terry Bar. Yeah. Really good. So as you guys are coming on, I see a lot of you that are jumping on. Please say hello so we know that you were here and that you guys are getting value from this. If you are, get value from this, please put value in the comments. Smash that love button and give it a quick share out, you guys. Whenever you do things like that, that's what keeps us that's going, cool. knowing we're giving you guys value in things that are making your life better, which is all we wanted whenever we found this was people sharing with us and now we just wanna repay it. Yep. I'm like, I have to eat this. Mm. Oh man. You want Go some? ahead. No, mm -hmm. I, there's plenty there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is amazing. It's got marshmallow. Yeah. Mm. Walnuts. Yeah. The, uh, the Max Mellow oh, comes in big, oh pretty good sized squares. Like so I chop those down into little eights so they're like mini marshmallows. Mm -hmm. And it's, you, you get, there's probably a couple of them that didn't get one in it, but for the most part, every one of them's got a marshmallow in it. Yes, Veronica, thank so. you so much for sharing. We really appreciate you. So you guys, we will post the link to the um, recipe to where you can print it out so you have it for your family to be able to make. Um, on TikTok, go to teamterryketo.com and you can enjoy this recipe and a ton of other ton ones of others. too. We've got over 150 recipes. So we hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Um, it is gonna be hot, hot, hot here, so we may have to plan some indoor activities. I'm not sure yet, I may melt, just joking. So thank you guys for jumping on here with us. We love and appreciate all of you. Thank you for spending some time with us. And talk to you guys soon, bye-bye.